Some steps that people can take to address inclusion and representation in the workplace really begin with setting goals. And while I'm not a big believer in quotas, I do believe that because we live in a society where things are still not equal, where still things are still unfair, that we're going to have to overcorrect. We're going to have to overrepresent for a while in order to make things more equal. Hire, champion, promote, compensate, reward, value, and celebrate female, black, of color, LGBTQ, disabled, diverse talent. If you are one of those people who are comfortable speaking up, speak up. I'd also say if you are a person in a position of power or leadership, or you get a meeting at night, for example, and you notice there's not enough women in this meeting and the decisions we need to make in this meeting require more representation, invite someone else along. We all have a responsibility as part of any organization, any room, any neighborhood, you know, any social club to constantly challenge ourselves to say, well, wait a minute, we don't, we don't have a perspective like this, or we're missing a perspective like that. Even if somebody's not in the room yet, you can still speak their name, their community, and make sure that you're actively working to include them, recruit them, identify them, and make sure that if you didn't see them this time, you're going to see them next Next time. I think sponsorship is critical because when other women aren't in the room that should be more valued or should be uh, promoted or should be taken to the next level, we have to have our, use our voices as being in the room to make sure those names are said out loud, that their accomplishments and their readiness is conveyed to those who can make a difference. The most important part after we do that, after we increase representation, is to ensure that we're talking about the entire employee experience. We can't stop at just representation. Representation isn't just a reflection of numbers. Representation needs to feel like a, um, a collection of inclusion practices belonging, education, development, and training. I think that sometimes is the mistake that we fall into is we check boxes because we feel good about the numbers, but we're not really taking a step back and looking at the entire employee experience.